pretty windy here in North Dakota. Hi, I'm Chris Redmond from Bismarck, North Dakota, and I'd like to show you how I build a structure able to withstand high wind. Most buildings today are rectangular or cubed, but that's not always a good choice. You see, a structure like that has a flat surface that wind can crash against, causing more stress for the building. But I think if I were to be designing a building, I would make it rounded or coned so that the wind can be evenly distributed throughout the structure, causing less stress. One thing we need to think about is force. Not like Star Wars, but like scientific force. Mass times acceleration. Another thing we need to think about is stress. The force of the wind hitting the building, causing stress to the materials. Wind has mass, since moving through the air at a high pace. It's like a moving fluid, like water in a river or stream. Now that you know my idea, let's test it. To test our idea, I will use a leaf blower to generate the high winds needed to cause damage to a structure. As you can see, a cone shape has less stress because it's not taking all the force of the wind in one place. So if you're planning to build a structure in North, in North Dakota or in any other place with potentially high or damaging winds, please consider to use a more rounded design.